Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for February 26, 2024. And in the news this afternoon, female Jamaican school teacher charged with a child neglect in U.S. A female Jamaican school teacher who is employed in the profession in South Carolina, United States, has been arrested and charged with child neglect by the Hernando County Sheriff's Department. The Hernando County Jail official website listed 38-year-old Leticia Unique Greenland as having been charged with two counts of child neglect. However, the website has not released any details of what led to her arrest. It is believed that the charges against Greenland, a fifth-grade math and science teacher at Brooksville Elementary School, are not related to her students, but rather to her own children. She appeared in court where she was offered U.S. $10,000 bail, but she remains in custody. As a condition of her bond when taken up, she is not to have contact with anyone under the age of 18, including her children. Contacts have been made with the Hernando County Sheriff's Office and the school district for comment, but so far, no response has been forthcoming. Greenland is part of a J-1 visa foreign exchange program with a TPG cultural exchange out of Greenville, South Carolina. The Hernando County School District currently employs around 66 foreign exchange teachers, many of whom are from Jamaica. Head of Man Found in Greenwich Town St. Andrew South Police are probing the discovery of the head of a man in Greenwich Town last night. Information reaching the news is that the police were summoned to 7th Street sometime after 9 o'clock. The head was then removed to the morgue. Sources say the act is meant to send a message. The community is currently rife with attention. There has been a series of murders in the area this month. The latest occurred last Wednesday when 45-year-old Steve Facey was murdered in his yard. The St. Andrew South Police reported that about 8.15 a.m., residents heard explosions and alerted the security forces. Upon their arrival, Facey was seen in a pool of blood. He was transported to the Kingston Public Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The Hunts Bay Police are investigating the incidents. Another year without a Jasmine Dean, father of missing visually impaired woman, believes that she is still alive. Tomorrow, February 27, marks four years since a visually impaired university student, Jasmine Dean, disappeared on her way home from classes about 9 p.m. Her father, Lloyd, despite to being nowhere closer to finding her, is not giving up in his search. He believes that they will have a happy reunion in the future. We can't think about that. I may still have hopes and thinks that my daughter alive. All me know says she missing. I may want back Jasmine. The only time me I go believe says she dead is if me see her body. I may not see anything. Me still a search for my daughter. Lloyd told the news. He added, me hear about people going missing for all 20 years and them find them back. So I just pray with all my might that this will be the case with my little girl. Researchers in 2022 examined the data from the Jamaica Constabulary Force and they found that at least 1,000 people go missing annually in Jamaica. In the study, The Dilemma of Missing People in Jamaica, a Societal Disintegration of the Family Structure and the Gender the Phenomenon, the researchers said that based on the data, it takes an average 9 days for a missing male to be confirmed dead and 38 days for a missing female to be confirmed dead. Data for the study covered the period from 2018 through to July 31, 2022. Over the period, 8,326 were reported missing. In 2020, the year Dean went missing, 1,615 persons were reported missing. Of that number, 1,210 were recorded as having returned home, and 53 were confirmed dead. The researchers found that males are four times more likely to be killed compared to females. For Lloyd Dean, the impact of his daughter, who was 22 at the time she went missing, being missing cannot be measured in statistics. He said the toll of having a child going missing without a trace weighs heavily on parents. Every day we get up and watch the females them go missing, he said. Adding that, it appears as if investigators have lost interest in searching for her. Everything just dead and we just can't see my little girl, said the distraught father, who is convinced that she may be the victim of human trafficking. 
this come in like a money making thing because people just don't go around and kidnap people like that somebody knows what is happening and what happened to my daughter my daughter have a disability because she blind so me want to know what a man would have want to do with a blind girl me not understand this because somebody in them right man could never ever think about hurting a blind woman dean said the anniversary of Jasmine Dean's disappearance comes as a Millicent McCurdy, the mother of entertainer Stephanie Medic Williams, awaits the DNA results to determine whether skeletal remains found in a cane field in St. Catherine could be that of her child. Medic, whose real name is Stephanie Williams, was reported missing to the Constant Spring Police on August 24 of last year after leaving her home that afternoon. A body suspected to be that of the dancehall artist was found in Kingfield in Wallin St. Catherine on Valentine's Day. The body will be processed and compared with DNA samples to determine its true identity, Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitzbailey said. Lloyd Dean said his heart sank when he heard news of the skeletal remains found in the Kingfield. Boy, I know it rough on her mother, but may I encourage her to hold a feet. If the result come back, says she, well, the mother gonna get closure, but she now go get back her daughter. This just shows the wicked people they are old. What me I tell her say just pray and hold your feet. I that me I do for my jazzy, he said. Kuga awarded $10 million after sleeping and falling on wet floor. A Chuloni Kuku suffered severe injuries to her neck and the back after she fell on a wet floor at her workplace nearly 11 years ago has been awarded more than $10 million in damages. The claimant Elaine Allwood Palmer who was diagnosed with a chronic widespread pain, myofacial pain and the neuropathy after the incident, has suffered from recurring pain in her neck and upper and lower back. Her sexual relationship has also been significantly impacted as she has been unable to engage in intimacy with her spouse. As a direct result of these challenges, her spouse has veered away from her to other women and has expressed a desire for a divorce, her claim disclosed. Following the conclusion of an assessment of damages hearing in January, the Supreme Court ordered Rose Hall Associates a partnership to pay Allwood Palmer $10 million in general damages and $53,400 in special damages. Both sums will attract interest at a rate of 3% per annum from the March 9, 2013 date of the incident to the date of the order January 29. Allwood Palmer filed a negligence claim against the company in August 2014, seeking damages for her pain and the suffering and the loss of amenities. The claim also accused the company of breaching the Occupier's Liability Act. However, the defendant failed to file an acknowledgment of service in response to the claim, and consequently, a default judgment was entered against them in September 2015. The hearing for assessment of damages subsequently commenced in December 2013. Allwood Palmer, during her evidence-in-chief, recounted details of the incident, which happened while she was preparing grilled chicken for her station. She said that on the day in question, she was preparing the meal when she entered the cold room area with a metal bowl in her hand and a slid in bloody water, which had drained from the meat to the floor. The woman further testified that before the fall, she slid some distance and eventually landed on her back. Immediately after, she said she felt the impact in her vagina and urinated on herself. She recalled losing consciousness and regaining awareness after arriving at the nurse's station. The woman was seen by the nurse and sent home, but on her way from Montego Bay, St. James to Falmouth, Trelawney, she started experiencing pain from the neck down to her lower back and the vagina. Consequently, she sought a medical treatment and was given a prescription after doing an X-ray. But due to ongoing pain, she was unable to return to work and in 2015 was made redundant. A medical summary from the Kingston Public Hospital indicated that Allwood Palmer was diagnosed with a chronic widespread pain, myofascial pain, and neuropathy. One of the doctors who treated Allwood Palmer reported that she had a severe mechanical neck, upper back, and a lower back pain, which are recurrent. The doctor also diagnosed her with a 9% whole body disability. Attorney Lawson Kinghorn, while highlighting what his client would permanently be experiencing, requested that damages be awarded for $10 million. He also asked the judge to bear in mind that his client had to make major lifestyle adjustments 
as a result of the lasting impact of the disability suffered. Along with the damages for special damages, the attorney also sought the damages for handicap on the labor market, but was refused as it was not depleted in the claim particulars, nor was an amendment done to have it included. The judges noted that although the claimant has suffered a loss in this regard, the effect of this feeling is that the claimant would not have fully particularized her claim to place the defendant on notice of the relevant heads of damages under which awards were being sought.